Ukraine will continue to build up military forces in the southeast of the country next year. Ukrainian Defense Minister Stepan Poltarak said that the Ukrainian Defense Ministry plans to redeploy a number of military units due to so-called threats facing Ukraine. Deployment of new units in operational territorial departments and brigades is planned in accordance with the threats, said Poltarak. Russia is protecting its national interests, but is not attacking any Western nations politically, Russian President Vladimir Putin said during his annual press conference in Moscow. Putin said that the only contribution Russia made toward the current period of tension is an increasingly strong stance in defending its national interests. We are not attacking anyone in the political sense, he said. We are only defending our interests. The displeasure of our Western partners, particularly the Americans, come from that. Russia's actions, described as aggressive, in the West are a response to what Western nations are doing. AU's ban for European companies to offer tourism services in Crimea will not affect the tourism sector in the peninsula. If foreign tourists stop coming to Crimea, the niche will be taken by Russians, the Russian Association of Tourism Operators head Maya Lomidze said. We remember on Thursday the European Union banned investment in Crimea, halting European help for Russian Black Sea oil and gas exploration, and outlawing European cruise ships from calling it Crimean ports. The new measures which AU governments have signed up will take effect on Saturday. Hackers from Anonymous, an international network of hacktivists, have posted a letter in which Angela Merkel associates ask US special services to wiretap her political opponents. Merkel, in effect, cut a deal with Barack Obama in exchange for the possibility of using US technical intelligence assets against her opponents in the country. Hackers posted a letter from US defense attaché to Berlin Colonel Gregory Broker to the Chancellor's security advisor Christoph Huysgen, saying that the US was prepared to fulfill its part of the agreements reached earlier between Merkel and Joe Biden. It is now worldly than several days after the letter arrived, German prosecutors dropped the case about the tapping of the Chancellor's phones for lack of evidence. It's anybody guess how many of Merkel's political opponents appeared on the US Special Services radar. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.